a one year old boy and his mother written to your pediatric genetic clinic to receive results from a bone marrow biopsy performed several days earlier so just write uh, when you are writing notes age that's it story is not that much important whenever i say buzzwords write it down one year old boy and his mother written to your pediatric genetics clinic to receive results from a bone marrow biopsy performed several days earlier the patient had initially been referred to you by his pediatrician who was concerned about the patient's seizures and general spastic movements so this is what is a complaint recent history patient seizures and general spastic movements is the recent history that is the reason you are sending this person to the the boy to the pediatric genetic clinic and you are awaiting for your results so your initial physical examination demonstrated possible diminished vision in both eyes so this is what you need to write down present complaints or like recent complaints diminished vision in both the eyes dyspnea hepatosplenomegaly and general failure to thrive that is what is given in the case so this is important physical examination demonstrates your initial physical examination means when the boy is presented to you at that time so it is a recent uh, physical examination shows the possible diminished vision in both the eyes dyspnea hepatosplenomegaly and general failure to thrive so here the bone marrow biopsy showed characteristic foam cells containing sphingomyelin and cholesterol this is the end of the story so whenever you see the characteristic foam cells which contain sphingomyelin and cholesterol you have to say it is a case of neiman pick disease neiman pick disease so with this information you inform mother that her child has an autosomal recessive genetic disorder associated with a lysosomal enzyme deficiency which means neiman pick disease is an autosomal recessive disorder caused by the deficiency of a lysosomal enzyme called as sphingomyelinase and there is no treatment which is available for this case sphingomyelinase deficiency autosomal recessive and it is neiman picks and the sphingomyelinase is a lysosomal enzyme that is responsible for the conversion of sphingomyelin to ceramide sphingomyelin to ceramide sphingomyelin i think you know it is a phospholipid sphingomyelin to ceramide ceramide is a free fatty acid during glycosphingolipid catabolism so now whenever this enzyme is deficient that is sphingomyelinase the sphingomyelin gets accumulated in the histiocytic lysosomes you have to underline this word histiocytic lysosomes which means the macrophages of the connective tissue called as histiocytes histiocytic lysosomes so connective tissue means everywhere so that is foam cells of the brain liver spleen bone marrow leading to dysfunction of these organs so involved uh, organs are brain liver spleen bone marrow and lung so what are the clinical manifestations of neiman pick in the case they gave one year old boy which means remember that always for the neiman pick they will give the same age maybe they'll play with you the months maybe 10 months 11 months 13 months but it should be approximately one year at the time of presentation so now for this to conclude the statement we need to say that this neiman pick has two variants one is called as neiman pick this is type a as well as type b so type a remember that presents in first 6 months of life first 6 months of life so is this a first 6 months of life let us see with rapidly progressive cns deterioration 
which means the patient is already presented with all these symptoms after that he is presented to the pediatric department and finally to the genetic department cns deterioration is a hallmark of type 1 whenever you talk about the cns deterioration remember that seizures are seen in 100% of the cases of type a and there will be a spasticity and failure to thrive three words you have to remember for npd type a cns deterioration spasticity and failure to thrive and this name and pick disease type b is the later onset disease which means generally after uh, one year we can say sometimes what they will do is to confuse you guys they will give you hepatosplenomegaly they'll give you one year of age and they will give you the cns deterioration seizures as well as spasticity and failure to thrive exactly that's what is our case as i mentioned that approximately first six months is called a type one after one year it is called a type two now it is hard for you to differentiate whether it is exactly type 1 or type 2. Means uh, type B. So let us discuss about the type B first, then we will try to identify what exactly we are talking about. So the name and pick disease type B, the clinical manifestations are osteoporosis, mental retardation, hepatosplenomegaly. In our case, there is a hepatosplenomegaly, right? Yes. So what are the, like we said, CNR deterioration is the marker for the type A. I can say that the mental retardation as well as hepatosplenomegaly considered to be a marker for the type B. Osteoporosis may not be seen in all the cases, but osteoporosis is there as well as macular degeneration. Macular degeneration. And also there is a progressive pulmonary disease. Now, progressive pulmonary disease is the deciding factor. You can underline that word, deciding factor. So sometimes remember that even in eight months, the patient may be having hepatosplenomegaly and CNR deterioration. But even though I said that mental retardation and hepatosplenomegaly are the marker for the type B, they may coexist with each other, right? Type A and type B symptoms, both can be seen at eight months. So you cannot say, so the deciding factor is the progressive pulmonary disease, which is evident with the dyspnea. And because of the macular degeneration, there is a diminished vision in both the eyes. So now we can say by seeing the dyspnea, we can say that it is a progressive pulmonary disease because this progressive pulmonary disease eventually develop pulmonary hypertension or car pulmonary. Car pulmonary. So now we are talking about Name and pick disease type B. So by this you always have to see for type A they always give you less than 8 months in your case. And it is not compulsory that they always have to give you less than 8 months. Sometimes to confuse you they may give you 1 year but look for the pulmonary manifestations. Look for the diminished division in both the eyes. Generally these two are not present in the type 1 and it is typical for uh, that is type uh, B. That is the second type. So this is what is the clinical manifestations about uh, two variants that is name and pick disease type A as well as type B. And next is about imaging. Imaging. There will be a reticular infiltrative pattern on the chest x-ray film. Reticular infiltrative pattern on the chest x-ray film. Next, what is the treatment and prognosis? So experimental treatments include hepatic as well as bone marrow transplantation and enzyme therapy. But no use. That's why we are calling it as experimental treatments include hepatic and bone marrow transplantation and enzyme therapy. Remember that death occurs usually during adolescence, specifically from the pulmonary disease.